Joanne Hayes. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and thank you very much. Um, I stand to take a brief call on the We Pere Trust, the Māori Purposes Bill um, today, Mr Speaker, but before I do that, I just want to um, to acknowledge the uh, Māori King Tuhei Te Hana celebrations in, um, in Waikato uh, over, the, over the next few days, um, and uh, I just want to wish them well for their celebrations, Mr Speaker. Um, I want to talk a little bit about um, an author, uh, Witi Ihimaira. Witi Ihimaira is a whanaunga of the Wipere uh, whanau. His uh, nanny uh, was um, a, 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 a descendant um, of, of Wipere. And uh, Witi Ihimaira wrote a book called Māori Boy. And when we went to the, um, to the, the submissions in Gisborne, um, the way that they spoke and about their lands and the way that he had written about his life growing up on those lands and the power of his nanny and how back then they developed their governance and they developed the trust lands and uh, the way that they managed their lands um, all came to, to light for me as I sat and I listened and as I've read through um, the bill and the submissions that came forward, um, Mr Speaker. And um, so when we hear today uh, about the fear, I think um, the, the member, uh, Calvin Davis, talked about it, the fear of, of their trust turning, you know, adding in a, a, an area uh, level of trust board, and the fear that um, they were turning into more of a corporate um, body. Um, it, that didn't surprise me, Mr Speaker. Um, and, but. It was a fear of the unknown, and um, I think the way that the bill has actually set itself out with um, the implementation or the, the, the section on um, the, the trust board and the functions of the trust board and how that will operate, um, and also the, um, how the first uh, trust board members will come from the actual trust itself, trying to keep that continuity going. Um, through, through that transition period um, should bring some comfort to the whānau of we pere. Mr Speaker, when I hear about grants to whānau from that trust, I am reminded of the, the grants that, or the, the payments to the kaumātua for the Ātihaunui Trust um, in Wanganui, Mr Speaker. They too enjoy um, some of the fruits of that land incorporation, um, just as the Wipiri Trust whānau enjoy um, uh, their annual uh, check or, or payment that they get as uh, lineal descendants of we Pere, Mr Speaker. And I, I too look at uh, the way that Māori land is actually managed in this, in this country over time. And um, it doesn't surprise me that um, our Labour colleagues uh, were impressed with the way that those lands in the coast um, have been managed. And they have taken a lot of blood, sweat and tears to get them there as um, new innovations come about. Um, and our Māori whānau pick those up. Um, and incorporate them into their farming industries. Um, I stand proud to be, um, to be part and parcel of, of that as a heritage um, in my whānau as well, Mr Speaker. And I can see that uh, the way forward for this trust is going to be a very prosperous one. Yes, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. Yes, you don't know what your whānau are going to say when we go to submissions. We have it every single time when we, um, as, a, as a, a select committee, when we go and, and discuss um, bills like this uh, and um, you know they all come in and it is an opportunity for everybody to have their say Mr Speaker. There isn't really much more that I can add. Um, everybody that has spoken before me and no doubt those who will speak after me will continue to um, outline where, what is included in this bill and will also give their views on how the submissions went. Um, but for me Mr Speaker, the, what, what I heard, what I saw, what I've read um, really came to light for me after I had finished reading that book, Māori Boy, written by Witi Ihimaira, and um, literally could see um, everything start to unfold. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, so I will uh, conclude my contribution he here, and um, I have uh, no hesitation but to commend the bill to the House. Kia ora. Mr Speaker.